Hey guys, here's a 2002 or so Medea 16 inch offspring pedestal fan. It's an interesting fan. Um, it doesn't have any name on the badge, but on the sticker on the back it does say Medea, so maybe it was made by Medea? <laughs> this also kind of ties into the ongoing debate that's happening among fan collectors on who made SMC fans. Was it SMC themselves or was it Medea? And I made a video on this like last year, kind of going over uh, my theories, but basically what I think happened was SMC, Shell Electric Manufacturing Company, made their own fans in the 90s, but I think right around the time when the recall happened, maybe they kind of abandoned their fan manufacturing, at least for North America, and perhaps Medea bought the patents or license to make fans with that SMC design. So that's just my theory because it kind of happened in the 2000s, the early 2000s, when SMC fans were kind of, or at least fans that were labeled as SMC on the back were kind of being phased out and more and more fans that were labeled as um, Medea kind of surfaced. So it could be that, I'm not too sure. It's an interesting fan for sure. I've not seen another one quite like this. I've seen similar ones. Um, predominantly under the Polonis brand name, but never one that's been just completely blank like this with the mesh grills, this interesting uh, blade shape, and uh, yeah, it seems like an interesting combination of SMC fan parts. Alright, so here it is. It's in pretty decent shape. It's been well used, so it's pretty dirty. The blades have some dust accumulation. It seems like one of those sticky kind of kitchen grease kind of dust, which is usually a lot more difficult to clean. The mesh grills, there's a little indentation right there that I'm going to have to fix. So there's that blank badge, but you can see that it does have the, the wavy design there that SMC fans and super fans had. Uh, the shade of grey on this fan is much lighter than the ones that were used on the SMC and the Super fans. Alright, uh, it's a short fan. <laughs> and that's the maximum height too. Handle there. Some of the plastic parts are yellowed. That's not too bad. And the one I got this fan, the base was incredibly wobbly. <laughs> there are four screws holding the, the pedestal pole to the base and most of them were just backed out nearly all the way. So the fan was, I'd say, angled like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> and there's a look at the side. This has the clicking tilt mechanism. Now here is the interesting part. This is a model FS40-S5A. 50 watts. Now, Medea Fan Factory. That's interesting. So are they claiming that this fan was made by Medea, as in manufactured by them? Because from here you don't see any uh, affiliations with SMC, you're, seeing S you're just seeing Medea, so I don't know, it's very interesting. Now here's the reason why at the beginning of the video I said this fan is from 2002 or so, because on the UL sticker it says uh, December, or not December, <laughs> I'm tired. Um, October 2002. But what the heck is this sticker? So if you read this normally, it's um, April of 2015. Which, for one, it's it seems way too old to be a 2015 fan. But at the same time, usually the actual date code isn't too far off from the UL sticker. It might be a year or two um, newer, but 
not 13 years newer, so I don't know. Um, this might not even be a date code. Maybe I'm just misinterpreting it. Usually these kinds of stickers indicate the date, but maybe not on this fan. So I'm going to say 2002 or so, which does seem to be the correct um, era for this, this kind of fan. Yeah, the guard's pretty dirty. Let's see if we can take a peek inside the motor. All right, let's give it a test. All right, we'll start it up a low. And we are starting to lose daylight, so I'm gonna have to keep this testing relatively short. Uh, yes, so it does have that characteristic mesh grill fan sound. The sound of the turbulence. <laughs> so yeah, these mesh grills are not nearly as um, aerodynamically friendly for the fan blades compared to the standard, or I should say more common radial spoke grills. They just seem to create a lot more turbulence. And you can tell because when you're standing in front of a mesh grilled fan, the airflow is very, it feels very um, muted. It's very, um, instead of being concentrated uh, out towards the front, it seems to spread out a little bit more. And uh, there's not a whole lot of, you know, punch behind the airflow in most cases. There are exceptions, but just generally speaking, this fan does seem to be one of those cases. It's moving a decent amount of air. Um, the blades, oh wow, let me show you guys the blade pitch. That's pretty decent. I'm sure it does scoop up a lot of air and throw it out forwards. So yeah, decent blade pitch on this thing, which I'm not too surprised about. Um, these SMC and I guess early Medea fans were pretty well made for... These were supposed to be like just absolutely budget friendly, nothing special, just <laughs> big box store fans. But compared to anything we can get today, these were much better. Oh, there's a better picture of the blade pitch there. Really nice. Alright, so let's take it up a notch to medium. I've always liked the... The clickiness of the SMC buttons. I'm not sure what it is about them, but they just have a really nice, I guess, kind of quality feel to it. They spring back nicely, they have a nice sound to it. Sometimes with really cheap fans, when you try to press the buttons, they get jammed and they have a kind of a gritty feel to it when you press them. But not these. These feel really nice. So, a little step up from low um, in terms of airflow. Like it's moving enough air to a point where I would say it's it's in the realm of powerful, but I expected a little bit more from it. Alright, let's bring it up to full power. Ooh, nice step up for medium. That's got some power to it now. It's, it does have that mesh grill fan sound. Which is actually pretty nostalgic because one of my biggest childhood fans, well actually let me correct that, my number one childhood fan, which was an 18 inch super pedestal fan with mesh grills, still looking for one of those, had that exact sound. Um, it sounded a little bigger, but obviously because of an 18 inch fan, but just that, that timbre of the sound was just spot on with this. Brings back memories of my elementary school days. <laughs> Alright, let's pop on the oscillation. Which appears to work. By the way, I haven't ran this fan since I got it, and it's been kind of stashed away in my workshop, in the corner of my workshop for a couple months, so 
I wasn't sure. I actually didn't even test the oscillation when I first got it. But I'm not surprised that it still works. even if I, even though I tighten the screws. <laughs> Not too bad of a spin down time, but I'm sure it could use some oil. Well, there it is, guys. That is the very interesting Medea, or maybe this one's had a brand name. Who knows? Maybe someone cleaned the badge and ended up wiping the, the name, the logo off of it. <laughs> Who knows, so I'll just call it a Medea fan. So, yep, yeah, that is it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.